Hey, wake up, dearest. <laughs> Good morning, sleepyhead. Yes, I know it's still really early, but if we want to get to the temple sooner, then we'll need to start walking. Come on, take my hand, I'll help you up. All right, there we go. I know, I know, you're still sleepy. And actually, the sun has only started rising. It's a shame you can't see it, but we're not here to sightsee. We gotta get our feet moving if we're gonna get you home. Watch your step. Uh, keep your head low here. A little to the left. Okay, now back to the right. You know, you were kind of cute sleeping earlier. <laughs> your little snake friends were curled up next to your face while you slept. Now that I think about it, that sounded a little creepy. I wasn't watching you while you were sleeping, okay? I just happened to be awake way before you did. Well, I haven't exactly had the luxury of a long night's sleep while living in these dangerous woods, so I've grown kind of used to this circadian rhythm that I've got going on. Well, yeah, I haven't had a decent and necessary eight hours of sleep, and even if I could, I'd still wake up at this hour. You always have to watch your back in these woods. I'm not very welcomed by humans, especially to the nobles for killing their errand boys, but... And I'm not also welcomed by most creatures in this forest, too, because of being human. I'm either seen as a threat to be killed, or a prey to be eaten. And I don't think I want to find out which one I'm going to end up as. But don't worry, you can sleep peacefully as long as I'm around, okay? The moment I said I'd help you get back home, that includes protecting you on the way there. You and me both want you to get home in one piece. <laughs> you're very welcome, dearest. As long as you're with me, I'll make sure you're safe. Besides, some residents of this forest owe me for saving their lives from being slaves. I'm a very capable hunter, after all. What? Of course I'm singing my own praises. If I'm not good at what I do, then neither of us would be here right now. <laughs> this isn't my first time at the rodeo. I've saved more rabid creatures that were far more dangerous than the bounty hunters I've slain. Oh, you want to know how I learned to be a hunter? Well, for starters, I used to be a night guard. <laughs> you should see the look on your face. Did I surprise you that much? Yes, I was properly trained, and one of the best in my class. That's why I can wield a sword better than anyone in this forest. But the system, my former comrades, and my masters were all a bunch of condescending assholes out for coin, so I left, and I became a rogue hunter. Hmm? No, I don't regret any of my decisions. I mean, sure, being a knight meant more money and a comfortable lifestyle, but your life is set from there on out, and it would only get better if you raised up the ranks. I would have been promoted to a general if I stayed any longer, but I really don't think I would have been happy where I was. I don't enjoy how nobles treated the lower classes and their own servants. They would buy people like you, and I've seen them get treated like absolute shit, before they suddenly disappear after they serve their purpose. I can never see myself treating someone like that, so I doubt I would have fit in there after all. But this life as a hunter, I mean, it's no picnic. It's really rewarding. I trained to be a knight because as a child I wanted to become a hero that can save people, but I've helped more people as a hunter than when I was a knight. Saving other creatures and even people from enslavement isn't always easy, Sometimes the people that I saved would try to kill me or harm me in any kind of way, but I don't blame them. I mean, come on. If humans captured and tried to sell you off in the market, you'd end up being hostile to the next one you see. At least, that's how I would be if I was up in their shoes. Uh, watch your step over here, okay? You want to know if I've ever gotten injured from a rescue? Uh, 
Oh, yes. Actually, once I got really hurt, uh, there was a time that I saved this um, bear-looking guy. He was being chased down by some noble servants, and uh, I ended up with this huge gash on my arm when he saw me. I guess the presence of another human startled him, and he attacked me out of panic. Oh, hey, hey, it's fine. I, don't worry, it doesn't hurt anymore. I had to learn how to tend to my own wounds as a knight, but as a hunter with very limited supplies, you gotta be creative. I'm not mad at the guy for hurting me. Uh, he even apologized, but he left so quickly before I even got to say anything. I hope he's okay. I hope everyone I've freed is okay. I don't exactly see them again after our encounters. But those I do meet again, they're not exactly pleasant. Hopefully we don't have to run into him. Oh god, that's the last thing I'd ever want. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm just lost in thought. But yeah, this life isn't easy, but it's nice I get to help all kinds of people, even if I don't get anything out of it in return. Y you... what? I... <laughs> I I'm not blushing. Oh god, stop laughing at me. Okay, okay, fine. I'm... I'm not used to people thanking me for saving them, but, uh, you're welcome. Now I'm really glad I chose this life. Why? Well, I got to meet someone like you. <laughs> now I'm being serious. You're the nicest person I've ever met, you know? And I was a knight who knew a lot of people, so that's saying a lot about you. <laughs> I guess both of us aren't very used to compliments. And when you get embarrassed, your little snake friends cover your face. It's it's really cute. I want to see your face. I, I know I'm not supposed to see your eyes, but I'd like to see you. I'm not exactly sure if I'm allowed to touch your little snake so I could move them away for me to look at you. You know, like what those cliche humans do when they move hair out of someone's pretty face and... They lean in, and I, okay, well, that that's not the point. I just kind of want to move it out the way so I can see your face. Uh, the point is, I don't want to get bitten or poisoned. If, well, do, do your snakes have poison in them? Oh, they don't. Okay. Well, that's a relief. One less thing I'd have to worry about then. Uh, can I ask you a small favor? It might be weird, and you can always say no, but, uh, can I touch the snakes on your head? I'm just a little curious. I can? Okay, thank you, and, uh, don't worry, I'll be very careful. Okay, here I... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this little one's coiling around my finger. It, uh, feels really weird, the way they kind of just wrap around my hand. And when they hiss, their little tongues tickle. They're actually really nice. I'd pet each one if I could. Uh, are they normally this cuddly? They're not? This is the first time they've acted this friendly. Well, I guess that just makes me special. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, come on. Let's get walking. It looks like it's already getting dark and... God, a storm. Dearest, hold on tight. We might have to run. Okay, shit, that might be too hard with a blindfold on. Uh, okay, fuck it. It's faster if I carry you. I'll go find us some shelter. I don't want you to get sick. Oh, thank God we got the fire started quickly. It's gotten so cold. If I knew there would be a storm, then I would have found a place to camp out earlier so we didn't have to run so much. At least there was a cave nearby. I mean, it's already pouring out there. 
Uh, did you get wet, dearest? Thank God. Well, our trip back home is going to be delayed, so I hope you don't mind. Yeah, it's not like we can do anything about this weather anyways. I'm just glad we're both okay. Hmm? A favor? Uh, sure, what is it? You... You want to see my face? Oh, no, no, it, it's okay. I, I don't mind. You don't have to apologize. I mean, you did let me touch your snakes earlier, so I guess it's only fair. And now that I think of it, you haven't seen anything at all since I've met you. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna close my eyes right now, and um, you can put the blindfold over me, okay? I don't want to risk opening my eyes midway for any sort of reason. My curiosity would literally kill me in this case. Okay, sorry, dumb joke. Okay, uh, put it on now. I hope you don't get disappointed with what you see. <laughs> I, uh, might not be what you'd expect your knight in shining armor to look like. Roughed up, with a huge scar on my face, too. Where did the scar come from? I'll... I'll tell you about it next time. Uh, I... Damn, I thought I would have gotten used to how cold your hands are. I mean, I guess it's different when you're holding my face like this. <laughs> I could feel your snakes brush up against me for a second there. It's really ticklish. Uh, before I forget... I, uh, I woke you up really early today, not because we needed to walk to the temple. I would have let you sleep way more after such a long trip, but you looked like you were having a terrible nightmare. You were mumbling in your sleep about wanting to be spared, and, uh, well, I wanted to help you, but dreams are something out of my control. The only way I knew how to was to wake you up from it. I promise I'd protect you, and I never break my promises. If any man or beast would try to hurt you, they'll have to get through me. And when I first saw you in that cage, chained up like an animal, I mean, you were so afraid and helpless. And when you asked me to take you home, I swore that I would do anything so I wouldn't have to see that look on your face ever again. I just hope that I could lessen your worries, even for a little, and... Dearest, can I open my eyes now? I want to see you again. <laughs> Thanks. I hope you at least enjoyed the view. <laughs> I'm joking. I know I don't look the best, but... W what? <laughs> my, my god, you really know how to undo me. I'm, well, I think you look pretty dandy yourself. The way your little snakes would react when you're smiling, or when you're shy, they cover your face up. How you have those little scales on your hands and cheeks, and the way they match the color of your snakes. Your little lisp is cute too when you try to say anything with the S in it. <laughs> if everything about you is already so perfect, it makes me curious about how your eyes would have looked. Your eyes are the same color as your snakes. Oh, and they look like the snake eyes too. Wow. That would have been such a sight. I, I would have loved to see it. it shit, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm rambling a lot, aren't I? Uh, forget everything I've said. <laughs> Come on, the cold weather looks like it's making you sleepy. And I've heard snakes feel lethargic in cold weather. Here, come rest on me. I've uh, got this cloak, and it'll help keep us warm during the night. Just rest easy, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, dearest. I'll be here when you wake up, so sleep well. Good night. It looks like they fell asleep. I hope you have sweet dreams from now on. I promise, I'm not going to let anyone lay a hand on you like that ever again. <laughs>